Hello everybody, good morning and welcome. Can you hear me right? Or well? Or like technically or the alert sound, but okay. It should be loud enough. I checked earlier but Yeah, exactly, I don't have... I set it up a couple streams ago just for the event and wait, let me just move the... Um, I'll be a logo under the chat. Maybe raise, raise your mic a touch. I cannot raise my mic, but I can put the music down. So, um, I hope you liked the short video I made, um, both the music there and the one you heard up until now, the Funky Town um, music, I've done them myself. Thank you. And today uh, we can do many things actually. Um, my idea was to either show some snippets of either LBA1 or LBA2 and show how I actually wrote it. And then we can try all together to write, I was thinking the main LBA theme because probably the one we all know and love and uh, actually one of the easier tracks in the soundtrack. I won't be talking too much about the soundtrack because I know Loco is doing that later in the day. So I will try to keep that to a minimum. We will just be composing. Um, I'll be using this software because it's the one I can use better, the best. And um, the only thing, no, I never studied music. I did just two years of, of choir singing at, in high school. And uh, I do play as a hobby, but I never studied anything. Everything I do, I've learned, learned it the hard, the hard way by trying and retrying. And in fact, what I wanted to say is that um, I will do. I will. I'll be doing some back and forth here with the software because um, I need to find the right note, and it takes me some tries. So I will be muting the program when I'm looking for the notes, like this. You shouldn't be hearing anything. I do hear, but you don't. And when it's ready to play and it's correct, I will demute it and you will be hearing it. Because otherwise you keep hearing stuff like that. And believe me, it gets very irritating and annoying very fast. <laughs> so, um, what do you prefer? Should we just start composing? Or should we, do we want to listen to something else from the games I've made? <laughs> Well, we'll see. Um, it takes a little bit of time doing back, back and forth. So, so here I had tried composing the honeybee theme from LBA2, the village theme from LBA1, the quest theme from LBA1, and then we have the, the ones you heard already. Sure thing, mate. Um, I don't know. I will just play them. And then you can, you can also give me some requests if you want, but pretty much. So this is just one example of what you can do. The good thing about this music is that I believe it was made in MIDI and then re-orchestrated somehow with some samples or something, so it's kind of easy to to recreate. Except for those, there are a couple tracks that are kind of difficult because the tempos are kind of weird. For example, The Village, it's, it almost has a prog tempo because it has a bar in five fourths which is very weird because 99% of pop music is in, is in four fourths. Thank you. 
feel like something is missing from this part, actually, but never mind. And you can tell that Philippe, the composer of the games, really loves this sound, the pizzicato of the, of the violins. Because he, he puts it everywhere. Contrabass sounds seems to run from Dragon Ball. Um, actually, you know, well, if you know the program, you know it very well. I was trying to find the correct sound because you can change it on the fly. Like, unfortunately, with orchestra sounds, we don't get such a variety. <laughs> exactly. And it's even in the main theme, we'll see it afterwards. What else? The quest is a cool... A cool, uh, a cool track because, you know, it... It's not very standard sounding. do we have before we go on with composing we do have well the funky town theme you heard when I started the stream this one I like it a lot because it's like a a sort of template if you understand what I mean and then you can improvise over it whatever you want it's like a blues funky theme and you can really change lots of stuff for example the bass is not like that in the original version but I don't mind I like it Probably also the rhythm of the guitars is slightly different, but you know, we could go on hours with this rhythm and do some improv over it. So um, these were just a few snippets. We might continue working on them later, perhaps if we get bored of the main theme. <laughs> and then, well, you have the, the song from the intro that I should listen to. Much you've heard that already. So, here I have the first part of the um, main theme of LBA. It will probably sound like a mix between LBA 1 version and LBA 2 version because I have in mind the LBA 2 version, but uh, I've listened more to the first version these days. So, um, how does this program work? Basically, it's a music program. So. Um, not really. I do have SoundCloud, but it's more like a personal warehouse of my stuff more than um, an actual front, storefront or anything like that. But I was thinking about it, actually. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and I was saying, basically, you can choose however many tracks you want, possibly not more than 15, possibly not more than 15 or 16 because the software doesn't really like it. You can give whatever sound to whatever track and, and then you just write. For me, and that's the reason I'm using this program instead of more professional ones like, for example, I don't know, Logic Pro Tools or uh, Cubase or something. Well, Logic because I don't have a Mac, so that's out of the question. I do have Cubase, but I find it really cumbersome. And the reason, the main reason I'm using this is because we can write on the guitar uh, keyboard, because that's fretboard, whatever you want to call it. Because that's how I started to play music, and I'm very much used to writing on this guitar fretboard, instead of, for example, the pentagram. So here we have 
as I was saying, the accompaniment. <laughs> Thanks for the for the appreciated spam <laughs> and faith in our singers, especially. <laughs> so let's listen to the accompaniment to the contrabass. Actually, no, yeah, it's not a contrabass. It's the low key piano. So if you know the main theme of Elbia, you know, you, you probably realize you can hum it over this sound. And then we have to write the actual melody. So as I was as I said before, I'm going to just mute it with the program for a second. And until Should be good. Let me listen. Yeah. So demuted. Right. Now, what I'm. You see these notes. These notes start and end one after the other. I'll let you hear. Just them. Which is okay, it sounds correct, but we are adding some legatos to the one we played to sort of simulate the idea of playing on a piano and keeping, you know, some sustain. So we'll just... There's one that I don't like. This one. The rest are fine. And of course we can change the sound, we can change... I chose this sky sound, but we have... I don't know... Tulsa. Or... Storm. I guess it's more edgy. Some reverb. And yeah, we're even changed completely. Do we, do we want to turn it into a guitar? Because actually, I think in the in the original version, it's more like a where is it keyboard clavinet? Yeah. Vibrato with a piano is not exactly legal. <laughs> much. This is probably the original sound that they used. And so we continue, so let me remute. again I will do a second bar too because otherwise and here's the result. There's a very small mistake here. This one should be slightly shorter, so by contrast we should make this. See, these are the sounds I'm talking about. That. 
Just checking if I actually if I actually needed it. Okay. And then if some parts are the same, of course we can just copy paste it. Like this probably repeats almost the same. That should be it. And that's just the beginning, really, because, for example, let's change the sound again. Let's put it back to a electric piano, the one I put at the beginning. And then to fill the sound a little bit, we already put some, no, not the strings, because we will need them later, but some synth pad, for example. We're adding another instrument right now. It's not in the original, possibly, but we don't really care. And we will have it do it's a little low the volume. Possibly because I turned it down for the music earlier. How's that? appreciate so I was saying to make it a little full to make it sound a little fuller we can add some accompaniment below so as always whoops not what I wanted to do so because it's control it's not shift uh, I'm with manually resize That's good. A little more. There we go. As I was saying, let me remove the program. Okay. And um, too much. Just checking if it if it works. That's good. So now we have an accompaniment that does pretty much what the piano below here does, but it gives some more sound to it.
you can see I didn't put it in this one and you can clearly hear it's not there. So we'll just add it for consistency. And then the, the cool part starts. <laughs> because then you have violin strings. Oops. I want to spoil the surprise. That's cool. So it's like that. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, you know, doing this is also a matter of mathematics because you have to feel uh, four fourths, and it's either one way or another. Just a second, and I will let you hear the results. Let's, let's hear it from like halfway the first part. And it goes on. Then again, here is the same, so we just copy paste it. Here I think it does something different. It doesn't really, for me at least, it doesn't really matter if it's not exactly the same because you know you want to give the um, the same emotions of the original, sure, but That's cool. There's a change here. Which is... Yeah, it's not exactly the same, but it works. And then we copy paste it all because we can. That's how we make it longer than it should be. And do we want to add some kind of, I don't know, carry on sound just to make it stand out more? I don't like the sound. No, I don't really like it. Bad idea. Salmon. 
I need this. Uh, right when you forget. There we go. The other way around. Yeah. Uh, let me. Okay. So we just added a small bling of, I guess you could call it Celesta here. I just listen to how it changes. It's nothing, but it adds to the color in my opinion. Here, I believe it actually changes. It, it doesn't do this part again, but it goes above like this. change it here as well because it's not like this anymore Mistake. Good thing you're not hearing this. We're almost there, just need to change this one. make this 10 more and we are here finally sorry for the wait why doesn't it start thank you for the stream DVD and thank you all for all the streams hosting and follows I haven't seen There's the part with the float, I believe, or something like that. So we just, I didn't add it earlier, so we'll just add it. Let's just pick the brand normal float and then we'll go from there. Uh, where did it go? Below everything. And That's a very good question coming from another Italian. 
Actually, I've never even tried them, to be honest. I wouldn't mind trying them. I mean, I, I, you cannot find them here. So... Now, the timing here of this part... is kind of tricky. It's longer. Sounds correct. Can't believe I got it on my first try, honestly. Uh, there's something wrong here because I didn't put. there we'll just change violins to spice it up a little so let's hear to add some double bass drumming at, at some point. Well, we'll add de definitely add some drums to kick it up a little. What is wrong here? Nothing. on and on. I believe there's also a Novoi here that does something like this. Yeah, yeah, probably the, the last pose is, where is it? The last poses are, yeah, they should be long. Ah, I just cut the paste. There you go. It's much cleaner now. So I added an oboe. I'm wondering, is this part, as far as you all know, identical to this one? It should be. It's a little more kick. Actually, I, I don't even know what they taste like. They should be like with some cheese cream or something like that. I still don't like the flute sound. Solo of earth. Jetter.
Then I think it stays the same with the flutes, but the oboe changes. Let's see if it's the right call. I'm also going by memory here, so I, because I, I could listen and reproduce, but... <laughs> well, I think there was Gordon Ramsay who had done tried doing Carbonara, and I'm confident it's great. It's just not Carbonara, I think we can... Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, with changing, it's just not the same. <laughs> I mean, one thing, both things are equally great. I remember there was, uh, let me just read it while I talk. There was a friend of mine who used to put vine, uh, vinegar in the pasta cooking water. If it tastes good for you, good for you. You know, the good thing about this part is that the rhythm of the oboe stays the same. The notes change, but the rhythm is the same. So you can just remember how you wrote it and then... Well, yeah, I mean, why not? In the end, it's like cheese cream. You use some great cheese we have here, and why doesn't it start when I press space? Because I'm not on the wing. Here, the chords change, obviously. The change in the chord starts one bar earlier, so... So this should be here. And the flute should go away. There we go, and I will add something we all love. Let's, let's do this and this, and let's add... Where is it? I didn't put it. That's incredibly naive of me. There we go. Wouldn't be LBA without Pizzicato. Um, I think I'll ju just do this and we're good. <laughs> I don't know any curse words. I'm a good boy. Let's let's spice it up spice it up a little because it's all well and good. So we will add We'll go directly to my favorite part of you know, the music. We shall add some drums. So this is what I was talking about when I was talking about you hearing all the notes. I'm just doing this this once. I mean, I guess it's cool because it sort of wow 
what else? Some base. Let's not run to the hills. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything will be clear very soon. Uh, we need guitars, because there are guitars here. But not overtly powerful, just something like a crunch will do. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> no, it's not double bass, it's just... Uh, Should be correct. It works like that. Weirdly, but it works like that. I'm just I'll be reading you very soon, just have to finish this. Very well. I hope. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Sorry. I'm just catching up on messages. So. It's more like brass more than trumpets. Let's see, it looks like that. I could I could cheat and look. There we go.
No, all by keyboard. I mean, computer keyboard. I do have a keyboard um, attached to the audio card, but it lags a little with Guitar Pro because it's a normal Windows PC, so... second part second part we will do it with one instrument and then we will just copy paste to the other Copy paste to the. I know you cannot hear, but just to see if it works. Need to add another pizzicato here that we all know and love. Not here, but to the actual pizzicato here. We can just. Um, Remove the legato here and resume it later. The bass we just copy paste it and the drums as well. And the end result is this. I should press shift this time. And it goes on and on. Um, this is one I had actually made some months ago. The freak knows about this. It's another version to make you understand how you can make it sound differently just with changing some instruments or adding more or removing some. like about these songs, these tracks more like, is that every instrument is really important. For example, many times the bass is ignored. <laughs> it, it was almost over. I should continue that. And um, like the, ba the bass is often ignored in such songs. But take it off and see how empty it sounds now with the bass. That's just one example. And then we have all the other parts that I've done already in the intro video.
example, here I've added like a sound like this. In the global context of the track, you can't, you hear it even though you don't hear it, because if it's not there, I guarantee you will, you will notice it's not there. So shall we listen to it as a whole? I could just take this part here and uh, sort of copy paste it. Actually, why, why don't we do that? I mean, where's the base here? We don't have a clean guitar, but we can add it. 12 strings sounds good. Thank you, DJ. I really appreciate that. So let's write something from scratch, otherwise it sounds like I'm cheating by copying my old stuff. <laughs> let's see, uh, removed it, yes, so we'll just add the strings. Not this one, this one. Cicados and then we're set. There you go. No, nope. where the pizzicados are. Let's see how it is.
that's how it is basically we keep on working so for example here the, the rhythm is the same uh, we change the notes do it changes minor Enjoy your tortillas. Actually, now I want tortillas too. We'll see what I can do later about that. <laughs> Let's finish the part with some rock stuff yeah grazie mille davvero now well, let's actually do that in the correct bar <laughs> by one nice work ah, barbecuing I hate you so much uh, we could actually do something some kind of remix Let me see if I can make it work. Just give me one one second. Hmm. I don't know if it will actually work because we could add some. Oops. No, this doesn't work is that this should work let's see if i can if we can put funky town inside the main theme possibly we can but we need to understand where we can actually put it 
which I guess is an important thing to find out in your lives. Ha. Where's the funky guitar? So we can just do like that. Where are you here? I'm not feeling it a lot, to be honest, so, but let's just see. So if math Exactly. Exactly what I meant. Okay, now I'm starting to to let me just check how I did it. Okay. So it's not in the same pitch as this song. It actually is a little different, so we have to transpose it. As I did for the other song, we will duplicate it, choose a different sound to distinguish between the two, like for example, bluesy, and pan it. 20, more or less 21, and 21. one addition and we are ready there we go oh welcome back so I will play it a little from earlier so in case you've missed something
Welcome back, everyone. Let's see if we can keep it with just some pole muting. Thank you. sound like that. Oh, because it's the wrong one, of course it sounds unoptimal. Now we're, now we'll talk. There it is. So we copy paste everything and we should be good to go. Hey. Cooperate. Actually let me save in case something bad happens. Absolutely. I can do that. I mean, no, no problems whatsoever. I mean, you can even take it and use it for whatever, I don't know, anything LBA related you want to, to do. Just feel free to use whatever you, you feel like. Um, let's see. Now the guitars should kick in the original piece, but I've added, or added them already. So what else? Uh, I know. I know there's the synth lead, so we shall add it as well. Let me just hear how it is because I. It's a tricky chord. Okay. I like the sound. Just duplicate it with, with another sound. I don't know. It can get pretty messy. Oh, I now want fish and chips too. I really. <laughs> Add a Hammond. Actually, you're right. There is actually a Hammond organ here. You're absolutely correct. I will do that immediately after I finish choosing the sounds for this. Um, Let's 
switch to a normal lid. Good. Also good. And then let's add this Hammond already. Hammond, where art thou? Um, Oregon. Let's actually call it Hammond. We are already at 22 instruments because we're doing kind of all different things, rock, classical, whatever, inside one single track. And this program doesn't really reach it. Hammond. <gasps> Crunch, blows, crunch, let's see. I don't like the sound. What sound did I use in the, in the other one, other one? After a minute, okay, thank you. <laughs> well, that's not cheating actually, it's just that. Add it as a accompaniment and then I will have it do some kind of solo later. Doing something against any kind of religion, putting high notes below because I don't want to. To break the legato. Let's see how it sounds. I want to leave you out, guys. Ouch. Except for one last note, it wasn't bad. What I like doing whenever I write something music related is 
put in some parts that remind you of you know other parts of the soundtrack are not necessarily used in this way originally but they remind you of another piece like i don't know the honeybee parts or the village parts for example how can we add something like this <laughs> We can turn the Hammond into the tr the trumpet into the Hammond and see. Actually, I think it would come out spectacularly. Let's see if I can make it work. Hammond. What instrument? Actually, let's keep the pizzicato. It sound weirdly cool. <laughs> Let me copy it into another sound as well, like a synth pace, perhaps. I mean, though we're using high notes, but. It's not supposed to sound like this. Give me a nice sound. Hits. And now let's put the ham on here, which actually fits. Nothing to do with each other, but weirdly, it doesn't sound that bad. Um, I bet we can actually add the the flute as well, but the flute I'm not going to redo it from scratch because it will take a good part of the what time we have left. So we'll just copy it and transpose it. Mm. Yeah, they do, which is weird because I pretty much chose it at random, I, I'm honest. So here we should add the clarinet or whatever it was. Um, wind, we're adding like, I don't know how many tracks. You will probably stop me in a we actually were to no we cannot see more than 16 tracks but we have 24 right now now I have to transpose it because all by uh, transpose minus one should be enough <laughs> it sounds it sounds cool actually and I that's what I love about music, that sometimes you get this... There you
much it. What could we link to it? Um, there are some parts of LBA2 that I remember that I wanted to put in. There is one, but it has a slightly different speed. Let's see if we can sort something out. Just give me a sec. Here. Not super confident, but I wasn't confident before, so. It's too fast for what I want to do. Yeah, this is run to do this. No, it doesn't work. What else can we put? I got a weird idea to how to finish it. Pizzicato, where are you? Here. Here. I hate it when I don't have the tempo clear in my mind. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let me copy. Transpose everything by at least minus 12, and I guess again. Okay, just finding the perfect way to finish this. That's perfect. So now we'll just copy paste it to all the guitars. It will sound a little weird, but it's just a funny way of finishing it. So let's let's go from the beginning. Actually.
Bye. Oh, I know why. Because I changed the sound by my by mistake. What was that? Uh, was salmon? Yeah. the only way I could think of closing it. <laughs> Although the true way to to close it would be another one and I think you all know which one. Thank you everyone. So let's just put this longer Copy paste everywhere. It's faster this way. What else do we have? Um, this one too. Okay, you're not hearing. Uh, wait, what is that? Oops, sorry. Okay. And here, uh, I will say another bar just. Leave it a little bit of time. The base two. And then uh, we should honestly get this again. the piano this time. I wonder if it copies also the tempo changes. That would be cool. Let's see. Come on. Okay, let's do it like that otherwise. Oh, it must have the same setting. Okay, never mind. I will just get the piano then. Right. Do have a piano here. Let's put some coirs because we don't have coirs in this track, so why not have them at the very end? So just that I can copy paste here. <laughs> back. I like the sound back. Uh, where are you? Back. Where is ah? See, pants for sure. Yeah. Let's 
fade out where I where is the fade out here and the fade out here and the fade out here. I know there's supposed to be a, a shortcut, but it doesn't work for some reason. Possibly because it I'm not works only with a English keyboard or something. This is reverse. So, new. Uh, where are you? Here. Dupl duplicate. Give me reverse. And do this. I'm sure you know what. Dupl duplicate. Where can I? And I said duplicate. Duplicate the piano as well and put some string guitar chorus. Let's see how it sounds. Ouch. This last note hurts. <laughs> so, yes, but then I have to reduce the tempo. Let me just see how I did it for it for the video. Uh, for 9, 3, 91, 73. 9, 3, 91, 9, 3. I know there are automations for this, but why use automation when you can do it by hand, right? Actually, this was before I learned how to do automations. So let's see. And then we'll listen to it from scratch one more time. Actually, let's jump a little forward. This could be used for, although I think that the idea of remixing Honeybee with Funky Town is not uh, a bad one. I don't know what else. Well, this one I put the end. This doesn't really work with anything else. I think we put pretty much everything. Uh, there is one part I didn't do. Which one is that? Actually, I, I do have my, uh, the soundtracks for both games open to listen to, but better than we didn't need them because you never know with the copyrights and everything. <laughs> Here, possibly, I had done something. I think we did pretty much everything. Just one, one, once more for for the press. To improve, we can make it sound a little more long, a little longer, actually, here. And you too. So that 
Usually it's what you do, you create parts of a song, you know, like that. Also, by the way, I'm sporting the t-shirt, of course. I didn't specify that. You create parts of the song and then you try to blend them together, like by having this part go also up until here where the other part starts, you sort of oops, glue them together. We can do the same here. Actually, you know what? We could put some contrast here too. Legatos, legatos everywhere. Okay, let's see from the beginning. Let's see from the beginning, more like. See how it glues together way better now. Free modding most of our games, but you rather still some audio engineer. Well, I, I wouldn't call myself an audio engineer, I just love music and I like to write it. But uh, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, um, actually, good thing you said that because as I said before, I will be putting this and uh, everything I've done, like even snippets like that. Uh, I will put everything online and you're free to reuse it in any kind of project or video or whatever you want to use it. It's absolutely fine. Um, I actually wanted to do add one more bit here because I'm, the good thing of listening and, and re-listening is that every time you listen... Yeah, me too. And Actually, it's all by memory. I remember when I got LBA2, I was like seven years old or something. And... I used to play the 
piece, the CD-ROM in the music player because you could listen to the soundtrack, soundtrack that way. So I had it on loop. So they're all pretty much in, engraved in my memory. Not so, not so much with the first game, unfortunately, because I haven't. Um, yeah, exactly. That melody. Where is it? That melody right here is uh, is extremely catchy, and you remember it a lot. And actually, change it a little bit between the first and the second game. I wanted just to add a little finishing touch because as I was saying, that's the beauty of it. When you keep listening, you keep having great idea. And as my friend, power player, who is here today with us, know, he knows it very well. I Many times I give him some stuff and then he works on that as a producer and uh, engineer. And then after he does lots of work on it, I'm like, oh, I had another idea to put here. And he's like, we we finalize it already. Um, why can I? Yeah, because I have this. So here we have the. Okay, here we have this part, right? Just the final thing for this final minutes. Okay. What if you want to? Add some kind of. I don't even know the term because I don't. I don't. I really don't know musical theory. If someone of, among you knows it and can tell me what this is called. Like, I guess glissando would be a correct term, but I think glissando is just for piano. Let's see. Oops. You cannot hear. Doesn't really sound great with a pizzicato, but that's what I wanted to do. Actually, you know what? I think it has more sense with the flute later on. Where is it? Where are your flutes? Here, no. Where is it? Recorder. He has more sense here. Uh, can I? This is. See, this is where maths come into place, into play, sorry. We have one eighth. These are one thirteenth notes. So technically this should work. Oops, sorry. No, we have one more. Well, let's just remove two. I think it actually works much better now. See the difference? Hear the difference? This is the original one. So just pause. One. One. And here you are. Of course we can change it. Possibly not the correct notes, but what matters is how it actually sounds in the mix. A 
actually not that big a difference, but... And I think that's pretty much all. Okay, guys. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, everybody, for bringing this event to life. And I think we're almost coming to an end. Yeah, enjoy your barbecue. Actually, I don't know what there's for lunch. I'll have to check. Uh, what else can we do in this last two or three minutes? Well, we can say... Ah, uh, sorry, I don't have linking activated. Problem is that I cannot... Uh, Unfortunately, I cannot turn it on without turning, you know, restarting the stream. Yeah, I always have to remember to turn it back on. Actual, real question. Who should I raid? Because I see that it's four of them after me. Four of you after me. That's it, I believe. No, I hate that the fade out doesn't work. See how it doesn't work. It's like tsk at the end that irks me. But yeah, so I think it's about time to leap, to pass the bait on to the next four guys, actually. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Um, you know, I wasn't 100% sure what to actually do because seeing me, you know, write um, all that can get boring because I tried it a few times and, you know. But I think that having some snippets ready and sort of juggling between talking and writing and playing and finding some new ideas that I'd never even thought about, like the putting honeybee into Funky Town and stuff like that was cool. Absolutely, yes. I mean, time time flew, so um, definitely. Count me, in also, uh, count me in, of course, for LBA2's birthday as well. I uh, will see if I can come up with some either music-related idea or something else even. I already was thinking about something. I will see. Okay, so once again, thank you everybody. This, <laughs> well, it is kind of my favorite game. I mean, um, not not because I don't like I don't like the first one, 
but simply the first one was such a I'm not going to use swear words to run on my PC because it always had some kind of problem I still remember the red CD-ROM that never worked and the second one worked flawlessly so I fell in love with that and thanks to everybody who remained here and participated this was pretty much my first <laughs> all right we'll well this was for LBA once and so it's okay we didn't do that but we'll definitely do that next time yeah I think I don't know because I moved uh, four years ago I don't know if I still have the PC box somewhere of LBA2 and I do miss those nice boxes that took up like half your room space oh you're very welcome anytime just let me know who I should raid and uh, I, will, I shall I think I can raid from oh yes Roxa so that's Rocks or LBA. That's it. There we go. Thank you guys again, and till next time. I'll have I'll go have some lunch and be back later.